what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so last night they had the very first test screening for the upcoming halloween kills there was a test screening that was conducted last night they did the same thing for the last film halloween 2018 also had a test screening and after that uh word of mouth came out that the ending wasn't that good they went back and did some reshoots and we ended up getting the film that we got when it released a few months later after that test screening now halloween kills given that it is set to release later this year october 16th of 2020 last night was the very first test screening uh and most of the reactions for it have been positive now this is a good sign now the reason this is a good sign is because this means that there's probably very little that they'll go back and make changes to now keep in mind when they do test screenings a lot of things are still not, not done uh the score probably for one thing isn't done the, the score probably wasn't even used they probably just used like old old uh sound bites or old soundtracks from previous the previous film while john carpenter and john carpenter and whoever whoever else is working with him on this new score while they come up with the score for halloween kills but word of mouth is just describing this film as very brutal it's like um kind of giving me those vibes of rob zombies michael myers i'm a little bit skeptical on that however i'm also keeping in mind that this wouldn't be the trashy redneck michael myers this is just a violent michael myers he's he seems like he's enraged in this film and if that's the case then i'm all for it um apparently the body count is bigger i'm gonna pull up a little snippet from reddit here uh a user on reddit the halloween movies official reddit tricky dude 98 uh he posted with all the buzz surrounding halloween kills in the final chapter of this trilogy the director and writer finally delivered a solid sequel that will impress more than depress this will probably be the first time the franchise has gotten a smooth test screening with no problems whatsoever i won't give out any spoilers due to the respect of universal and die hard fans but i will say this 1978 is back and i felt it every time the flashbacks happen the tone the feel the music even the shapes attitude and movement it's all there as for present day i don't think horror has felt more organic and emotional in my entire life david gordon green has not disappointed so obviously this person is probably gassing it up a little bit more than what they should have but what i took away from that is that this is going to be a very emotional film now i'm a little bit curious about that uh i have i trust that this is not going to be emotional like halloween 5 revenge of michael myers michael myers is going to take off his mask and start crying emotional <laughs> god forbid uh it's going to be actually emotional in some capacity in what way i think it has to do with a big death also a lot of people are saying on twitter that a certain character from the original film is supposed to be coming back as well but they're not going to get any credit any credit uh contributions for the film it's supposed to be a big surprise now my guess is that this probably is going to be dr loomis or maybe even uh i can't think of his name uh i can't i can't think of his name I, it's on the tip of my tongue i can't think of his name oh god whatever but the test screening uh went well everyone seemed to enjoy themselves with this film that's a very good thing uh they're probably going to go back and change just a fall a few small things or they might not change anything they might just finalize the film with the editing aspect put in the score uh send it in for the final production or send it in for the final draft in the editing room put everything together mix compose everything get all their ducks lined up in a row uh finalize it put out a trailer and then they're gonna just set their pass on the world premiere hopefully they get good feedback there from critics i'm not expecting a good critical reception the same way that the last film got 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 uh i really feel that, that last critical reception was because the film series had been away for so long not to say that the film got overwhelmingly positive reviews but i'm not i'm just not expecting that something as big um i'm really glad to hear that this film halloween kills has gotten very good early buzz from just people who were at this test screen i know they also did some test screenings for candy man but nothing came out about candy man so i'm really curious to see if anyone out there who attended that test screen for candy man let me know what what you guys thought about that film if anyone who saw candy man last night instead of halloween kills uh let me know what you guys thought about that no spoilers of course nobody who's shared anything about halloween kills has shared any spoilers uh 
I've seen mention of the fact that, again, the body count is bigger. The the feel of 1978 is apparently back. I know there's supposed to be a lot of flashbacks in this film with us going to Lonnie and seeing how he came in contact with Michael shortly after Michael got up from those six bullet shots from Dr. Loomis. Uh, I just really, I'm really interested to see this. They said it feels like the 1978 film all over again. I want to see what this, what they're talking about. David Gordon Green apparently has captured something here that is very tense. Because if you're comparing it to the 1978 film, there's got to be a lot of atmosphere here. The shape got, has to feel like the shape again. I, I, I'm really looking forward to this to see what exactly people are talking about. I hope this means they're going to make very little change to it. I'm looking forward to October. Let me know what you guys think about this early buzz and early praise coming out of the test screens for Halloween Kills. Are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? Again, also at a disclaimer, these are just uh, other people's thoughts and opinions on what they saw from the film. This does not mean that the movie is actually any good. Uh, me personally, just being a person who re reviews films, if the movie sucks, I'm going to tell you that it sucks. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to all post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, in the comic section, I'll have a link to my Facebook group. You join that group. Anyone who wants further updates on Jeepers Creepers and the future of this franchise, join it. There's an individual in there who is answering any and all questions if you want to ask him about it. There's an announcement post. He's tagged in it. Just leave a question down in the comment section and he will get back to you as soon as he can. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.